As a seasoned actor of stage, television, and film, Jeff Perry has seen his fair share of drama. And his current role is no different, playing the president's ruthless chief of staff, Cyrus Bean, on the hit ABC show, Scandal. And he joins me now to discuss season three of the show, the upcoming finale, and of course, a little bit of the politics behind it all. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. Lovely being here. And it's uh. so sad that we finally saw, uh, you know, kind of that beautiful love story develop between Cyrus and James only after James's character died. But um, regarding that, we've got a video comment from one of our viewers. So let's go to that. Okay. Hi, Jeff. Okay, so I love your work, and I was curious, how do you mentally prepare for a scene that's emotional and intense, similar to the one that you did at the podium for James's press conference? Um, <laughs> with terror <laughs> and trepidation. Um, you hope to do justice to a very deep set of circumstances of the man who is the first love of your life, who has helped you really own your soul and face up to yourself for the first time in your life. And you know that you've been central to the reason that he was put in jeopardy and then there's some gray emotional territory of how are you, how responsible are you literally for his death? So this was a pile, a wonderful pile of circumstance that Shonda gives to actors. And I just tried to do my damnedest to do justice to it. Um, a lot of actors use substitution, and I do too. There's ways in which Mm, the reaction to this death was a reaction to James, the fictional character, and reaction to death that I've dealt with in my life. And uh, you hope you even get at uh, the hem of authenticity. If you had to pick someone that's more right for Olivia, would you say it's the president, or would you say it's the head of B613? Hmm. You know, Cyrus is going to have to evaluate, evaluate all human relationships now in a, through a different prism, I think, because this has been a sacrifice uh, that to whatever extent he saw as possible or as coming, he, uh, uh, in another way, really blindsided him. And his own culpability in it is deeply disturbing because he's aware of it. So there's going to be even a more complicated human, I think, that ensues. What would Jeff Perry choose? Which one would Jeff Perry choose? Jake or Fitz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I can't. It's okay. Um, it's just on the Internet. and It's, it's just you know, on the Internet? Uh, I, there's a little less conflict with Jake. Okay. I yeah. think I think you're on yeah. my team. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. And so what else can you tell? I mean, obviously you can't tell us too much, but we are coming up on the season finale pretty soon. This season has been really explosive. There is a lot going on. There are multiple storylines coming out. Yeah. We see this with Melly. We see this with Jake, with Olivia's mom. Who's a terrorist? Now there's a bomb on the loose. Um, you know what? what yeah, what's give going us some on? Kind of hint. So we've got this giant threat against the president's life, and is it coming from Olivia's mom? Yes, maybe. And and at the same time, we've got uh, the ticking clock. The last six days, the last, and then in the finale, the last three days before the election. Um, and will there be a future for this administration? Uh, so we got both things, you know, kind of coming together. And what can I tease? I can tell you that from deep in the security apparatus of this government, Cyrus is given some information. And what Cyrus does with that inf information <laughs> arguably changes the course of the scandal universe. Wow. Yeah. 
When she's uh, working on set, she's not only generous with the actors she's working with, she's generous with people who are working around her. She applauds the background artists as much as she applauds the rest of us.